Hi, this is Sam from Portena. In this video, I'll show you how to configure external LDAP authentication in Portena using Active Directory. We'll go through configuring group filtering and Teams auto population as well. I already have Portena installed and endpoints already added. I also have a separate VM with Active Directory installed on a Windows server. I currently have already created some groups and users uh, so we can use them in Portena. So for that I've created a separate OU inside my AD, created users and some groups. I also have a read-only domain user uh, called LDAP. This will be used to uh, connect to the LDAP server and uh, get information. So this will be the read-only account the LDAP uses to talk to AD. To configure LDAP external authentication, we need to go to settings and then authentication in the left menu of Portena. It's currently using default internal authentication. To use LDAP, we select the LDAP option and we enter the details of our LDAP server, IP address or the name. I'll use the IP address. I will choose my LDAP account that I already created. So this is the read-only account that I have already created inside the AD. So this will be the account that a portainer will use to connect and talk to LDAP. Uh, we can click on test connectivity to quickly test uh, if that account's working and that portainer can contact the Active Directory server. If you'd like to use LDAP S or secure LDAP, you can simply choose the use TLS option and uh, you can here either specify a TLS CA certificate by uploading the file or you can choose to skip the verification. Um, I'll skip the verification here. Uh, you'll also need to change the port um, because LDAP S port is usually 636 and I'm going to try test connectivity. You can see that LDAP connection is successful then we can add the base DN um, of where Portena would look for users inside the AU. So I've shown you previously uh, the OUs that I've created, uh, Portena and then users inside Portena. So I'm adding that as my base DN. Any user that is in this OU will be able to log in. And I'll use username attribute is same account name and object class is user. And similarly for groups search, I'll use the groups OU and uh, group membership attribute is member and object group filter is object class group. Uh, once we have all those details, we can simply save settings and free from here on, we can simply log in using the LDAP account. Uh, to show you that worked, I'll simply log out and back in as one of the LDAP users. So that's sam.tulum and log in now. As expected, you are able to log in, but since there is no access given to that user or group, you will not have access to anything. So go back to admin. I'll show you what happens when you LDAP user gets logged in and the LDAP user simply gets created with the authentication type of LDAP inside Portena. So this user gets automatically created inside Portena when he logs in the first time. This is because we have selected or left the this option on. So this is where um, automatic user provisioning, um, as long as that user is known, uh, is in the right OU, um, he gets logged in and the user is automatically provisioned or added to Portena. Um, I'll also show you how to automatically populate them into the right teams in a minute. We can now give this user, LDAP user, access to um, any endpoints or resources in Portena. 
but this is tedious when you have more than a couple of users um, so that's where the um, teams um, come comes in so to make user management easier we'll use teams and I'll show you how to automatically populate the LDAP users into the right teams so we'll now add some teams um, inside Portana I'll make sure that we use the same group names that we used in the AD uh, for the team names as well so if you look here for the groups I have testers and devs as groups um, and I also have Portana admins and read only uh, I'll, I'll do testers and devs um, for demonstration so I'll create a team inside Portana called testers and I'll also create another team called devs uh, let's also add Portana admins as a team okay so now we have those teams added I'll simply go to the endpoints and I can give access to any of these endpoints to those teams um, but it, to make it easier we can also use groups I've already grouped my docker and docker swarm endpoints into the docker group and kubernetes into cube group the idea here um, to simulate a scenario where I want the testers to be able to access the docker uh, based endpoints and only devs to access the cube based endpoints so to in that scenario I can simply add the right access to the groups uh, so I'll show you I can simply click on the cube groups manage access I can select the team I want the devs to have access to that and I also want Portana admins to have access to the Kubernetes cluster inside Portana so simply add those there go back to groups and on the docker group I will add testers and I'll also add Portana admins so create access so we have already added them there now we have given them access to the endpoints. so if they log in they can see the endpoints but they might not see everything that's inside the endpoint because you have to still give them access to the resources as well so in for example the docker uh, endpoint I'll go to stacks I can see that the first one is um, public so anyone can view this as long as they have um, access to the docker only endpoint um, and the second one is limited to an administrators only so if I change that for example to give the team that we just created testers and admins access to that and update ownership they should be able to see that as well and similarly I'll do some in swarm cluster go to one of the stacks both of them are uh, admin only I'll just give testers access to the SIFS test one here so that's testers and admins so update ownership done and in Kubernetes uh, cluster I'll choose one of the resource pools to so that I can give them access I'll choose web services and I will give the devs and admins access to that resource pool only all right so we have created some teams and we have given access to endpoints and resources inside endpoints to different uh, groups I'll show you a mapping of groups um, so if I want to log in as a dev I can choose dev.das so if I go log out and log in as a developer or a dev yeah so devs only have access to the kubernetes cluster or the cube group and they do not have access to docker so he can only see the group that he has got access to and we've restricted him to the web services group uh, default group 
shows up for everyone uh, you can you can only hide that in the business edition uh, so that users do not actually see the default uh, resource pool or namespace so we've restricted the devs to web services namespace so they will be able to consume or use services inside that namespace i will log out as dev i will log back in as a tester uh, for example john smith is a tester so i log back in as john smith he should only have access to the docker group which um, has both docker only and swarm endpoints in there and if i choose to go to the docker only endpoint i can see the public and the restricted one which he's got access to and if i go to swarm i should only see the sifs test one that he's got access to i will log out from here log back in as the portina admin and as i have given portina admins access to both the groups i can see all of them and i have given access to the wordpress stack as well and in similarly in kh i've limited them to web services only but usually the idea is um, you can give more or less access as required to different namespaces and different teams and different groups so to understand how this all works let's go back to the teams we, we created these teams inside portainer uh, using the same names um, as we have them in active directory so if i go to devs as you can see when dev.das uh, logged in he got automatically populated into that team because he's a member of the devs group inside active directory and similarly to put in our admins that user and to testers john.smith as you can see, this is my um, group mappings as i said before sam.tulum put in our admins dev.dos is devs and john smith is a tester and when they log in they get automatically created as a ldap user inside portainer and they will get automatically populated to the right teams based on their ad group membership this should make um, user management a lot easier inside portainer um, and you can group endpoints uh, you can group users into teams you can auto populate users in different groups into different teams respectively uh, based on their names Uh, I hope this video has been informative. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment and let us know. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.